Hey everybody! Today, Rado runs through the Raid on Taioku, which is a new cooperative game. And I'm going to be doing a two-player run-through of it. Before I get going, I strongly recommend you turn your subtitles onto the Klingon channel. So if I make any rules goofs, you know what they are. And also, I need to warn you going in, this is a very dark, somber, mature game all about a civilian family trying to survive the U.S.-led Allied bombing of Taiwan in World War II. There is some very dark subject matter that happens in this game, and uh, so I just want to warn you of that going in. I don't know what we're going to run into, but just letting you know up front. And here we are. This is the city of Taioku, or we now today know it as Taipei, the capital of Taiwan, and there are all these different locations locations that are full of cards. As part of setup, you put a lot of food cards over here at the railway station, the hotel, um, you know, the wharf. You put medicine cards over here at the governor's office and the army headquarters and item cards over here at the high school, at the library. Uh, so all this has already been set up ahead of time. And right in the middle of all of it is the location known as Blown Up Home. This is where a uh, non-assuming family lives and uh, we are going to take on the role of members of that family. Like I said, I'm doing a two-player run-through today. So, we're going to be following the adventures of Grandpa and the older sister. I'll be Grandpa, Jen will be the older sister. As you can see, there are several other family members who are not going to be in the game today. Older brother, younger brother, younger sister, Grandma, mother, and father. And there's the family pets as well. Peach and Blackie, the dog and cat. Although, uh, in this game, it's going to be mostly about grandpa and older sister. Now, every one of these characters gets their own character board, and they have different stats for um, you know their need to eat, their health, their mood, their stamina. And every character has three different entanglement cards that are basically special objectives or scenario issues that they have to deal with. As part of setup, after you pick whichever character you're going to be, you pick one of these cards randomly. And in this one, Grandpa is going to be worried about finding the ancestral tablet because he's really kind of focused on the legacy of this family. Um, these, uh, these objectives and whatnot are all very thematically grounded. So instead of the ancestral ancestral tablet, he might have had concern about the ancestral home, our, our, our house. Or he might have been worried about the family valuables and really be obsessed with that. But in this game, it's all about the ancestral tablet, which I think is probably the toughest of the objectives because basically this means as part of setup, in one of the locations that has the medicine cards, the governor's office, the uh, Hong, um, Hong Gangji temple, and the army headquarters, and the Bank of Taiwan, in one of those is our ancestral tablet, and we've got to find it. If we don't, every round that he hasn't found that, his mood drops by two. And now, while Grandpa is probably the happiest-go-luckiest member of the family, starting with a mood of six, if anybody drops all the way down on any of their stats, it's game over for everybody. You can die due to despair in this game. And it's very important to Grandpa that he finds those ancestral tablets. But, I mean, it's a needle in a haystack. It could be anywhere in any of these three locations. So, wish us luck on finding that. Meanwhile, Jen is going to be older sister. All of her entanglement cards have to do with the fact that her fiancé um, is actually was conscripted by the Japanese army and is fighting the Allies. And she's incredibly worried about him. And, depending on which one of the cards she got. She got seriously injured fiancé. In this game, her fiancé has been wounded and is at the hospital. Every round that she is not at the hospital by his side at the end of her turn, she loses two mood. And again, now she doesn't have, she's not quite as happy as Grandpa to begin with. So, She's kind of, in this game, going to be kind of sticking close to this hospital. Although, what will eventually happen, when the raid at um, Taioku card is drawn, which is near the end of the game, and then we just have to survive a few more rounds, her uh, fiancé will be freed, and then she can actually move around freely. But she has to keep him with her because he's still so injured. Now, instead, she could have been waiting, you know, he could have been waiting up at the wharf. He would have been actually populated in the deck of cards up at the wharf, waiting for her to come get him uh, upon returning. Or um, he could be by her side right from the get-go, but be very, very sick, which means she would have to be supplying medicine to him throughout the entire game. 
game. But in this game, he's uh, laid up in the hospital and she's really got to stay close to that. So that's her situation. Also, as part of setup, uh, we get one random item uh, when we choose who gets it. In this game, our random starting item was the family bicycle. And I decided to give it to sister, to give it to Jen here, because um, since she needs to be here, this bicycle will give her a little bit more freedom to kind of travel farther during the day to go scavenging whatever she needs to do and still make it back to the hospital, be by her fiancé at night. So I gave it to her uh, because... I mean, a Grandpa here, he just needs to find the tablet. And, I mean, the tablet's in one of these places, which are all fairly close to the home. So hopefully he'll be able to find that before too long. Right. So we're set up. Uh, the other set of things we have to do is we have to build this air raid deck. We have to survive until the war ends, which is one of the bottom three cards of this deck. You don't know if you have to make it all the way through, if it's this card, or one of the other uh, bottom two. We have to survive... Uh, until the war ends. And there's a couple of... So every round, there's going to be another raid as part of setup. We drew one card randomly, and it said that the Grand Shrine, the New Park, the hospital, which is unfortunate for me, or for Jen, uh, the Bank of Taiwan and the Governor's Library have are been bombed. This is the... Uh, where you can see the kind of strafing. All of this is bombed, which means it's more dangerous uh, to go into those areas, which again is a problem for older sister because she's got to go there. She's got to be by her fiance's side. Right. That's the situation. Let's get going. Now, how does the game work? Everybody gets a little reference card with very tiny font. But uh, at the beginning of every round, everybody goes hungry and we draw an event card. So, this is our most pressing issue. We need food because if anybody starves, we die. And we're constantly dropping on our satiation. Now, some characters, like uh, older brother, I mean, he's got a much bigger stomach. He started out with five instead of four, like older sister. Uh, younger sister, she can't go as long. She can only uh, survive four and so on. So all the characters have different strengths and weaknesses. But anyway, so now we have an event. And let's see what our first event is. It is... Epidemic disease. All right, this round. At the end of the survival phase, if a player is at a location containing another player with lower stamina, reduce that player's stamina to the same point as the lowest stamina. So, if players are together at the end of this round, um, everybody drops to the lowest person's stamina. And now that's not good. Grandpa's stamina starts at five, and younger, uh, older sister's starts at six. So if they end the turn together, uh, younger sister's stamina will drop to five. And that's bad because the more stamina you have, the more actions you get to do every round. So I think at the end of this round, because of the epidemic of disease, we don't want to be together. Which is fine. We know she wants to be over here at the hospital, and he probably wants to stay out here trying to find the tablets. Some of these events, though, it's very, very important that players in the turn together instead of apart. And maybe we'll see some of those. I mean, all the events, they generally have some kind of variation on, okay, we want everybody to be together somewhere, or we want everybody to be separated and far away from each other. This time, we want them to be separated because of the spread of disease. Right, okay. So, we have, um, we've gone hungry, we've drawn our first event, and now we go to the survival phase where we act in player order. Everybody does all their actions, which is movement, exploration, using items, transferring resources, or sharing food. And, uh, you know, and Grandpa has, because he has a stamina five, he gets to do five actions on his turn. In addition, you can also just eat food you find, which does not take an action. Um, you can drop your stamina to get extra actions which you might need to do in the short term, but that'll hurt you in the long run. And you can perform entanglement actions, although neither of these characters in this game have entanglement actions. Right, so Grandpa's up first, and like I said, he wants to find those. He knows it's at the bank, in the, in the governor's office, at the temple, or at the army headquarters. So he's got five actions. Let's go one to move here. Two, let's just start searching. Um, and he finds... Uh, some herbal medical liqueur, liqueur, which you can use as an action to heal your stamina and your health by one. So he'll just carry this. In the same way that older sister is carrying a bicycle, an older sister has a limit, uh, can have up to four cards worth of items. Grandpa can have up to five cards. So he's moved, he's searched, he's going to search again. And it's some band-aids. And he's going to search again. And it's a disinfection band-aid, or disinfection bandages. So that was what? That was one, two, three, four. You can search one more time. 
<sighs> and since it's kind of a problem, he's doing all this searching for medicine. We really should be staying home and getting food because... But, I mean, the sooner he finds these... the so You know what? I think before he left, his, before he walked out to go searching, he will have spent one action getting some food at, at home. So he searched, and he found some rotten food, which... If you eat this, uh, it increases your, um, your satiation, but your stamina drops by one. That was not great. So he found that, his first action, then he moved, then he searched three more times, and his turn was over. Okay. And now that means um, at the end of each survival phase, if nobody has an ancestral tablet, he's gonna, his mood is going to drop by two. And he's also carrying four of the five things he can carry. See, this is why it's so dangerous for him um, to be just so doggedly searching through all these areas to try and find these tablets, because it might be the last card we look at. And we can only carry so much. For him to keep searching, we have to jettison cards, because he can only carry five. But anyway, so that was his turn. Very simple. Got some food, which I don't think he wants to eat, because it's rotten. But you know, if he's desperate, he might. But anyway, so now it is older sister's turn. She needs to end her turn over here at the hospital. Otherwise, her mood drops by two. <sighs> And she can only afford that twice. She, um, if, she, if it happens in the first round, okay. If it happens in the second round, she'll die of despair. So we've got to get her over there. But the nice thing is, because she's got her bicycle, she's got a benefit of getting to move two spaces for one action instead of one. So, I mean, for her to get over here to the hospital with her bicycle, although, here's the problem. Uh, remember how I said the fact that we, there was bombing in the east made it a problem for her? Um, <clears throat> moving into a bombed space or out of a bombed space requires two actions instead of one. Um, and so, unfortunately, her bicycle won't help her. If she wanted to, say, come over here to the wharf because she had the objective of trying to find her fiancé at the wharf, that's one of her starting ones, you know, her fiancé is waiting for her at the wharf. Since there was no bombing, she, it was because of her bicycle, instead of spending one, two actions, one, two, she could have just moved up here in a single action thanks to her bicycle. But her bicycle is not going to help her move into these bombed areas any faster. So to get to the hospital, she could go one, um, and then two, three, and now, once she's in a bombed area, it would cost her two movements to get out, but to move from one bombed area to another, it doesn't cost any extra. So, it could be one, two, three, four, and then she'd be ending where she needs to be. And she could have done one thing along the way. Like, she could have searched for some food, or, let's see, ideally, it'd be good to find that tablet fast. So, if she were to come here, one, two, and, you know, maybe she'll find it, maybe she won't. And then she'd have to get to the hospital. Would she be able to get there? Um, and then she could go three, four, five, and she has six because she's stronger. She has six actions. She could actually come down here, do one search to help Grandpa out, and then bike like crazy. Is there a faster way to go? This would cost one, two, or actually, no. So if she goes one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, she can get there. Her bicycle's not going to help her much because she's trying to bicycle around in all these recently bombed areas. So, does that mean she comes down here and continues to search for the tablet, or does she give herself some food? Because I mean, she doesn't have a bigger stomach than Grandpa. She, um, she'll die in a few rounds if she doesn't get some food either. Hmm. Let's see here. You know, I think... As much as, as good as, I mean, what are the chances? There's one, two, there's four cards in each location. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. She has a one in fourteen chance of finding that tablet. And she's only got time to search once, so I don't think she's going to. I think her first action is she's going to go on ahead and search the home and find some more food. And she got so, uh, a simple fireplace. Uh, so this is an item. When you use rotten food or an animal carcass along with this card, ignore the negative effects of some of those cards and regain one additional. So ideally, this would be something she wants to give to Grandpa because then um, the rotten food um, loses its bad thing and becomes a double. So now there's another action. You, all right, so her first action was she searched, right? One of the actions you can spend uh, doing is transfer a resource card. For every action you spend, you can give a card to somebody at the same location or an adjacent location. So her second action could be to give this to Grandpa so his food will be good. But that would be her second action. And then, because she still make it? 
three, four, five, six. Yeah. So her second action is she is going to transfer to an adjacent location, give grandpa, and now grandpa's full. He's got five items he can't carry anymore, but that rotten food will work well with the simple fireplace. So one, two, and now three, um, let's see, or three, four to say move to the Bank of Taiwan because she was moving from a non-bombed area to a, you know, I mean, th this, these areas are basically undergoing bombing right now, I think is thematically what's going on. So it's tougher to get in. It's tougher to get out. But once you're in, it's relatively easy to move around. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six. She's used all her actions and she has made it to be by her loved one's side. Okay, so we're done. If there were more players, of course, they would also do actions. They would have their own goals and whatnot. But we're done. And so we have finished the survival phase. Grandpa has not found the tablet, so he drops by two. But uh, sister is uh, where she needs to be, so her mood does not drop. All righty. And now it's the air raid. Draw an air raid card, resolve it, and pass the starting player clockwise. So our first air raid card, which is, all righty, um, these areas are being hit. It's a good thing we got out of our home because now our home has gotten hit. And uh, it, the cards actually list the text names, but you can also just see, because uh, this is a map of the board in the background. Now, if we are, oh no, this is not good. All right, so um, the rail station gets hit. The our home gets hit. The um, which one else? The governor's office gets hit, and Grandpa is at the office searching. So he just lost two health. Boom, boom. That's not good. All right. Um, let's see. And the Bank of Taiwan got hit, and um, the uh, Hongjiangji Temple got hit. So there we go. So you can see now this whole area is hit instead, and Grandpa just got hit hard. That's a problem. If he gets hit again, he's going to die. So how fortunate that he picked up a whole bunch of medicine last term, so he'll be able to heal himself. Okay, so that was the air raid. Now, there are three special cards in here. Most of these cards are air raids where the five air raid tokens, which are these very cool metal coins showing the U.S. bombers, um, they end up moving to a due spot, and if somebody's, uh, if, if, you're in if there's bad luck, then everybody could get hit there. That's another reason why sometimes when cards tell us to be together, okay, that's fine, we'll end our turn together, but then if that zone gets hit by bombs, by, uh, by a bombing run, everybody gets hurt. So it's dangerous to be together. It's wise to split up. And that's why it was good this disease thing actually had us split up. At the end of the turn, we're not together, so we don't drop our, so um, sister does not lose stamina to match grandpa's. That was the end of the first round and now going into the second round sister is the first player she uh, gets her actions back because her stamina hasn't dropped and what is she going to do now she wants to end her turn here but she's got six actions and fortunately the bombing has kind of gone away so she could actually travel a fair distance with her bicycle hmm um let's see here and she has no food. Oh, wait, no. But first of all, uh, we, it's the new round, so everybody gets hungry. So that's a problem. And we have a new event. Okay, sexual predators. Uh, this, this is what I was talking about. There can be some, I mean, not that epidemic disease isn't a problem too, isn't you know, people dying of disease and all that, but here's the deal. This round, at the end of the survival phase, if a female playable character is alone, set her mood down to one. And, of course, it doesn't spell out what that means, why her mood should have to drop all the way if she's alone, but I think you get the idea. There can be some very, very dark moments in this game. And so, that creates a problem for us. We want her to end her turn here so she won't automatically drop by two by you know, staying at the hospital, but if she doesn't end her turn with Grandpa, she will effectively be raped. And, or at the very least, assaulted. Uh, again, the card doesn't go into specifics. So this might be a case, well, uh, if Grandpa could end his turn over at the hospital, then that'd be fine. But Grandpa needs to keep searching. So if she ends her turn with Grandpa to, to not be alone, then she'll lose two because, I mean, if she comes out here to help him search, she'll lose two. But, you know, she can afford to lose two, and it's better than losing everything. So 
Uh, I think it might be good to use her bicycle to head back over to Grandpa. But she needs some food, too. Uh, so far, Grandpa is set. Uh, he's probably going to heal himself. But, I mean, she needs to get some food pretty badly. So, um, where is the nearest food? Well, um, let's see. There's medicine at the bank. But, remember, it's hard to get into the governor's office and the Bank of Taiwan because they're being bombed right now. So, she wants to... Oh, but our home... And the rail station, those are the two closest food places. It's going to be tough to get in there. Can she get to food? Now, she can afford. She can go another round without getting food, as long as she gets food on the following round. And since um, the best spots for her to go get food are, although, nope, I mean, no matter what, even if she wants to come all the way over here, she's got to go through this area, which is being bombed as well. So I think she's going to wait on the food. Although, if she ends her turn where Grandpa is, Grandpa can cook up this food and feed both of them. It's interesting. To eat food yourself does not spend an action, but to share food with other people at the same location does spend an action. So I think because there's sexual predators around, I think she's going she's gonna to leave her fiancé for a while and go hang out with Grandpa and probably help him search. So how is she going to do that? Well, she's got six actions. If she goes one because she's got the bicycle, so she can move twice through non-bombed areas. And then two, she's down here at the headquarters, which is a place where we can be searching for those tablets. So not bad. Although, um, if she stops here, she could search here. Um, and, you know, These are item cards. They do all kinds of funky things. Let's have her... So one, she moved to the first high school. And two, she'll search, and let's see what she gets. Oh, she gets a cart. Whoever has this gets to increase their inventory by three. That is awesome. She will pull this cart around with her bicycle. That was worth it. So two, she searched. Oh, now I'm tempted to search again. But no, no, no. Let's have three. And with, because of her bicycle, she makes it all the way over here. Four, let's have her start searching. And um, it's a, a medicine kit that increases her stamina by one. So if her stamina had dropped, and remember, you can force your stamina to drop to give yourself extra actions. And that, so she could use this medical kit to get it back, but it would take an action to do that. Anyway, so uh, let's have her search again. Again, looking for that um, stuff. And um, a medicine kit, so uh, she didn't get bombed. All right, so... Now, she could carry seven things total because of the cart. And right now, she's carrying four because the cart does count as one of the things she's carrying. So really, the cart gives you plus two. All right, so what has she done? She's gone one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. So she could search again. I mean... She could search and she could push her stamina and search twice and empty this area out so she doesn't have to search here anymore at all. That's interesting. Let's do that. Uh, six, she'll search again. And she found some band-aids. All right. And seven, to, or her seventh action will be... So, okay, so she's out of action. She did six actions. But now her seventh action will be to lose one stamina to get an action back. And now her seventh action will be to finish the Army headquarters where she found, again, more medicine. And she's almost full. She can carry seven things. She's got six. All right, so she is done. All right. Um, and we want Grandpa to end his turn standing where she is because of the Predators. So it's his turn. Um, right. And now we know she's going to lose two mood this round, but that's okay because there are ways to get the mood back. Um, if she goes and visits, if she ends her turn at the Grand Shrine, if anybody ends their turn there, their mood climbs all the way back up to maximum. But then it'll still drop because she's not by her fiancé's side. But anyway, so she's done. Grandpa, um, you just got the crap beaten out of you. You're going to try to heal some. But hey, before you're done, let's go. since we're here, let's go on ahead and search. He's got five actions. One, two, to um, search. And uh, he got some more Band-Aids. And show me tablets or, you know, the ta... Nope. Shoot. All righty. So... Um, now, if I recall correctly, I don't think you have to discard until the end of your turn. Is that right? I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, yeah. So, right, so he's done one, two, three, because it, oh no, three, four, because remember, it's more expensive to move in or out of a bomb zone. So three, four, he's got one more action, which I think is, um, let's see, if you use a rotten food or an animal carcass along with this card, right, so he's going to use... The simple fireplace, along with the rotten food he had. Um, so that takes an Ooh. So, okay, here's the deal. That takes an action to share this stuff. To, 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 
Hmm. Okay, actually, uh, so, so sharing food, that takes an action to distribute the satiated items of food type item. So, does it take an action to use a simple fireplace? When you use a rotten food, or I think it does. So it's going to take him two actions to do this. So he's going to have to drop his stamina one to trigger this, and then the other action is share the food. Um, and because it was cooked, it's actually providing two satiation instead of one, and we can split this however we want. So we'll split it, and we both go back up one, and nobody loses any stamina, and now both of these are gone. Um, right, because this does not have an infinite symbol, which means it sticks around, so this was a one-time thing. Okay, and now at the end of his turn, he's got, hey, he's got five items, so he doesn't have to throw anything away. Boom, and they're together at the end of their turn, so um, at the, uh, we do not have to worry about the sexual predators. However, both their moods drop again, and now that's a problem. Oh boy, because um, we've still got the bank and the temple to search. Now the interesting thing is, um, man, and the, one of the items is a, a, a toy. There, there are actually toys you can find that you can use as an action to bring your mood back up. Also, if you end your turn at um, either of uh, at this temple. Um, or where else? Or, or at the Catholic Church, your mood can rise by one. Although in Grandpa's case, that means it'll only drop by one instead of two. Yikes. That's kind of scary. We might lose right away. Um, because, like I said, these needle in a haystacks in a two-player game are very, very tough. If we were playing a four-player game, then, of course, the whole family would have split up and everybody would have been searching and we would have found that tablet by now. Uh, because it doesn't, uh, Grandpa doesn't need to have it. He just needs somebody in the family has to have the tablet on hand. Because, again, he cares about the family legacy. So anyway, so the end of their turn there, they ate a little bit and um, both of their moods drop. And, um, but, the, but at least they avoided the predators. And now, at the end, we are going to have another round of bombing. Except we didn't. This is one of the three specials. This, it remove all air raid tokens on the board. I forget what it's called. Um, it's, uh, the name of this card, actually, it's interesting that it's not actually on the card. It's Meizu, M-A-Z-U, I think, which I believe is some kind of luck spirit in a Taiwanese culture. Uh, basically, it, the name of this card is She Caught All the Bombs. So there was one day where we got a break. This was our one breather. And then we're going to go back to being bombed heavily for the rest of that deck as we try to survive. Okay, so that was that. And the turn order changes again. And coming into the next round, hey, everybody's hungry once more. But you know what? Grandpa... No, Grandpa can get healed. Nobody has any food. We need to go get some food pretty badly. Um, right. Uh, uh, all right, and we have a new event on the horizon, which is, oh, we caught a break. There are some good events in Warfare. Kind Helpers. This round, at the end of the survival phase, players in um, the Hongjangi Temple, the Longsheng Temple, or uh, the Catholic Church, will get one satiation and one mood, in addition to whatever you're supposed to get. Cool. So, we should both end our turns, because if we, I mean, we're getting plus one mood, so we could both end our turn at Long Shang. We'd get fed, um, we'd get our stamina back, because we both lost one stamina in the last turn, because we're both using one less action this round as a result. But if we end here, we'll get our stamina back, we'll both be fed, and nobody will drop any mood because we'll get one plus one because of kind helpers at the temple or the Catholic Church or, which was the other one? Um, right, the, uh, oh, the other, the, the, not the Grand Temple, the Longshang Temple, the, the church, or the, right, where is the third temple? Um... By the way, these are all based on real historical locations. I see. It's the University Hotel. Is it the Grand Temple? I'll have to look it up. There have been, I have noticed while playing this game, there are some things where the cards refer to things differently than they do on the board and stuff like that. So, but anyway, if we end our turn in a temple, that would be pretty good. We'd both be ending together. And the interesting thing, because Meizu caught the bombs, we can move around freely. There's nothing slowing us down. So... Oh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, right here. So we could actually, if we end our turn here, we'll both only drop our mood by one, and we can search the heck out of this and maybe find the temple. So I think that makes sense. Grandpa is the first player. He's going to go one, uh, two, three, three, one, two, three, and he's um, got, only got one more action. So he's going to search here. Come on, show me a tab. 
Nope. Uh, bandages. All right. And his hand is full. I have to check if it's the end of his turn or the end of... I don't remember when you have to check your hand size. Uh, it might be the end of your turn. Yes, uh, da, 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 uh, oh, for heaven's sakes. It'd be really nice if it said right on here, but it doesn't. But anyway, um, so he is over, overloaded. I think it's the end of his turn, so he has to drop something. Um, let's see. And this is, well, we're going to get our stamina back up anyway, so I don't think he needs these pills. In, um... Oh, but I want that. We'll get, we'll get rid of a Band-Aid. All right, we'll keep that just in case. So that was his turn. Not as full because of the stamina loss next turn. All right, so anyway. So, all right, now. So um, older sister is going to move, and she's got the bicycle. So one, two. So she got there in two actions. And um, three. <gasps> we did it! Oh, we found the temple. Anytime a player gets this card for the first time in the game, Grandpa immediately gets one point of a single status. Hmm... All right. Uh, let's see. Now, we're both ending here at the temple. So we're going to get one food. Uh, and all right. So I'm going to have his stamina go back up. That was the bonus. But now we have to, this is now, I mean, this is great because, hey, as long as one of us is carrying this, grandpa is not going to you know, be depressed. Now he can just be a helpful member of the family trying to help other people in their time of need. Or he can just now spend his time scavenging for food and bring it and cook it up for everybody like you saw him do originally. But somebody still has to carry this, which means it's weighing us down. Fortunately, the sister has the cart. All right. Cool. That was awesome. Um, so we found it. He got a stat back. Um, does she end her turn here? Or does she go 1-2 to end her turn here so she won't lose any mood whatsoever? Or does she run back to... No, no, no. We really want to take advantage of this. So she could end here, but she doesn't need to. I think she'll use the bicycle to come all the way down here because then she won't drop any mood at all, whereas she will still drop one mood over here since she cannot be with her loved one because he's so far away. Hopefully the bombing won't cut her off next turn and she can get back to him. Um, but, oh, but if she could pick up some food along the way. Right, what has she done here? Because um, I've been forgetting to use the tracker. Right, she started here. She went one, two, three, four, five. <gasps> she found Blackie! Now, you might say, hey, why is Blackie in the food deck? Peach, the family cat, is also somewhere. At the beginning of the game, they're lost. We don't know where they are, um, you know, because they ran off during the bombing, but we found her. The thing is, Blackie does count as food. If things get really, really rough, you can remove this card to regain satiation plus five. But if you do, all players set their mood down by one, as you might imagine. But in the meantime, um, you can use Blackie to explore adjacent locations. So you don't have to move as far. She could stay at the hospital, not move at all, and because of Blackie, be exploring and finding items. And while Grandpa is running around finding food to bring to her because she's starving. Anyway, that was nice. She found Blackie, although uh, her hands... Anyway, and then her last turn, she'll end here. And she's overloaded. She'll get rid of something. She'll just get rid of some, um, some medicine. So now she's at her hand of seven. Right. Okay, we made it. And now, uh, at the end of the round... Grandpa doesn't go hungry, and his mood goes back up because of kind helpers. And her mood wants to go down because she's not with her fiancé, but it goes back up, and her stamina goes back up, and um, her satiation goes back up. Nice. Okay. That worked out very well, and now we're going to move on to round four. Uh, the bombing starts again, and oh, oh, wow. That is bad. Boom! She gets hit for two. And the electric company gets hit. And boom! Grandpa gets hit for two. Oh dear. And the, um, our home gets hit. And the, what is it? Uh, the governor's office gets hit. Wow. So we're both almost dead. We both got hit hard. But fortunately, we did all that searching for medicine, so we've got a lot of medicine on our hands. We can use that to heal ourselves back up. Um, um, oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Oh, I, I did the wrong one. It was... <gasps> right. So she got hit for two. Fine. No problem. But, but, when the temple got hit, one, two, boom. Grandpa died. And... That's it, folks. We just lost. 
Um, that was one quick game of Ray to Taioku. Wow, well, okay, this is one of those times when I finished. Things were going so well. Obviously, with the benefit of hindsight, I should have been paying more attention that Grandpa was one strike away from death. He had all these opportunities to heal himself last turn, but no, he just kept frantically searching for those tablets and hoping the bombs wouldn't drop. But they did. That was my own stupid fault. If I hadn't done that, if I had just had him use the um, uh, disinfection bandages, he would have been totally fine. Um, and, you know, sister could have still come here. She would have had to search an extra time. She would have found the tablet. It just means she would not have um, found Blackie. Right, so that was a dumb move. Um, but you know what? Ray to Taioku, uh, things can be pretty dire. But folks, that should give you a pretty good idea of what the game is all about. Now, if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that I or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.